Hey guys, it's Clay with Branco Machinery. In today's video, we're going to cover how you can create points in the plan view of your magnet field layout data collector. So let's go ahead and go into our plan. We've already got our AutoCAD drawing imported into the background, but we don't have any points. So we're going to come up here to our drawing toolbar. If you can't see it, this arrow right here, you'll just go ahead and click it and it'll pop back out. Now this is our point generation tool. There's six tools for creating points. This first one is used to create endpoints, like so. And it will create endpoints on the lines you select and it will create them closest to the edge of the line you're clicking to. Just like that. Now this one is used to create points in the middle of the line that you select. This one's pretty self-explanatory. It'll create points in the center of a circle you select. Now this function is for creating points on intersections. So you'll select two lines that intersect and it'll create a point right there. You can also select points that don't physically intersect or lines, excuse me, that don't physically intersect like so. You can select this line here and it'll create that point right there, right where those lines would intersect. So I'll show you that one more time. Select here and here and it'll create that point right there on that line. Now this tool is a little different. Before you use it, make sure you clear your selection and we're going to select a point and then we're going to select a line that we want to make this point on. So basically we're creating a point parallel to this one on a separate line. So we'll select that and there you have it. I'll show you that one more time. We'll clear our selection, select a point, want that point to be parallel to. And the last one is used to create points on the edge of the circle. And that covers our drawing toolbar for generating points. I'm going to go ahead and put that away. Now there's a couple of other ways we can create points. We can select a line and we can click and hold in the white to do a right click and we can come down to create and create points. Now we can create points along this line in intervals that we select or by segments. So let's go ahead and do it in intervals and we'll create endpoints. And let's do those intervals every three feet. It'll tell you what point it's going to start on. Hit the green check. It tells us that how many points it's created. And there we have it. So every five feet, it created points. This point's throwing us off because we created it earlier. One, two, three, four, five, and then it created an end point here. Now we can also create points in directions. So I can clear my selection by double clicking in a blank area. I can select a point, right click, and create point in direction. 
create it directly in line with another point. If I wanted the point to be created in between here, use the direction, angle offset. But for now, I'm just going to create one backwards two feet from that point. I'll hit this calc button in the bottom right and I can view in the plan the, yes two feet directly backwards from that point I selected I'm going to generate a point. Come back into results hit the save button and then you can see that point that you created in that direction. So, as you can see, there's quite a few different ways we can create points off the line work that we pull in from an AutoCAD drawing or even a PDF. And there are more ways, but these are the basics. Thank you guys for watching. If you have questions or contact information is the description down below. Thanks again for watching.